So as some of y'all may have noticed, I've taken a little bit of a break from social media, haven't really been posting on Instagram, haven't uploaded consistently on YouTube, and well, it's just because sometimes you just need a rest, take a break. But I have broken my break because there are some new updates on Instagram Reels that we totally need to talk about. So good in fact that the break is over just for this video. Intro. Salutations everybody, Benjamin Brandon here. Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. I am sorry I'm not posting on YouTube. It's just, you know, you sometimes need to not. Today we're going over three new updates for Instagram Reels that were released 48 hours after the making of this video. The first one is the big one, the one that gets Reels a little bit closer to TikTok per se, and that is the 30 second video length. Instagram Reels is now getting closer to its TikTok rival, allowing us to shoot 30 second videos versus 15 seconds. Last month when Instagram Reels rolled out, and if you've seen my video on the complete tutorial about Reels, you know that we can only shoot 15 seconds on a Reel, which sucked. With well, this update, it's pretty cool. You can just see right here, the first option, you see the 15, if you tap on that, voila, it automatically turns into a 30 second Reel so then once you start recording, you'll have more time length up here and you can see on the very top right there, the amount you have, which is also a new thing by the way, the amount of uh, video length that you have left on your reel. Pretty cool. I do like the fact that it's literally one button and it allows you to create a 30 second reel or even a 15. I personally enjoyed the 15 second window for a reel. I just felt more creatively challenged to try to create a concept or a story in 15 seconds. But 30 is pretty cool too and I think that it may make a lot of our content easier to develop for reels given that we have 30 seconds now. So good on you Instagram for giving us a 30 second video option versus just using only a 15. Let's move on to the next update. So if you're familiar with TikTok, you understand that you have a 10 second countdown option, but in Reels you don't. You only had a three second, which, you know, if you're trying to prep and you're trying to set up things and running into the other part of the room or just, not, I know I know y'all have done that. Y'all have done that. I've, I've done it too. You don't have enough time before the recording starts. So now you have the 10 second option. Here's how you access that. Head over to the timer button right here and you can see the countdown right there. Now I've already recorded some time on this particular reel and I do have some time. Let's say I wanna like add a song and then just jump in and try to get the countdown right, right? So you see where the three S is here on the countdown, that's what we are used to at this point with reels. If you simply tap on it, it turns into 10 seconds and now you have a 10 second timer as you see right there. So that gives you enough time to prep, get the boogers off of your nose and just Make sure you, you got the no double shins and then you start going. And this is now me recording after the 10 second timer. I didn't need to do all that. You get the point though. So now if you want to use a 10 second timer, all you have to do within the timer is hit the 3S button. It'll change it to 10S seconds if you didn't get that. That's what the S is for. So now you know how to get the 10 second timer so you don't have to rush and try to get to your spot within a three second marker before it hits record. Cause yeah, I, that's pretty challenging. It's almost like, well, Instagram, why did you just launch with that, right? Well, a month later, they got it right. Moving on to the last update. This is one that I personally felt should have launched with Reels and I was very surprised that it didn't. If you see my complete tutorial on Instagram Reels, I show you guys that you can't edit within any one of your particular clips in your reel. Now you had the trimming option before, but you weren't able to go through the individual clips. The only option for the trimming was the last clip that you recorded, you were able to trim and that's it. Let's say I wanted to edit my first clip, but I just recorded my second. I had to delete my second clip to go and trim my first clip. Like what? So this gets rid of that. So I can, let's say trim here. So I got some dead air. I'll stop there with my weird face, hit trim. Now that becomes trimmed. I can then go back to my, my first clip and see what dead air I had. And I can maybe if I want to stop here, I can then trim that. And there you go. That is super dope. Instagram, y'all should have just gave this to us before you launched, I'm just saying. But hey, Instagram's coming in the clutch. A month later after Reels, they're already giving us an update to make life easier for us because they know that Reels is a big deal and it's something that they really want to become successful. So they need to make it easier for us creators 
to put out that content that they're so desperately needing. So get after it. Reels is still pretty good organically. Right now it's ranging about the 20, 25% organic rate. Pretty good. At least in comparison to like a video post, which is like 10%, 8% maybe. But I am curious, what do you think about these new Instagram Reels updates? Do you think it's getting closer to becoming a true rival to TikTok? I personally think they're getting there. We all know that TikTok video length is a maximum of one minute. I don't know if Instagram's gonna get there because if you think about it, you can post a one minute video on Instagram right now. It's called a feed video. If they do that to Reels, you may kill the feed video option. Like, you know, it's a give and take it seems like. Plus anything over a minute belongs to IGTV right now. So. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a minute. I will probably take another break in hiatus. So be on the lookout, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you know when I upload because yeah, it's gonna be in this time now where I'm just gonna upload when I'm able to, but I'm not gonna strain myself to try to put something on YouTube. It's not been a good look for me lately. So I'm gonna upload when I feel I have something super valuable that y'all can have and take for yourselves. But I'm not just gonna try to create a video to create a video. I think I'm done with that life. So yeah, follow me on Instagram, DM me, let's connect. And I, my beautiful vert friends, will see you on the next one. That notification's though. You don't know what the next one's gonna be. I don't know what the next one's gonna be. Peace.